Hi guys, how are you doing today? Welcome back if you are returning and welcome if you are new. We have a discussion today. I'm not doing makeup. We're talking about makeup. Well, we're talking about a makeup brand. And we are going to be talking about Glam Light. I placed an order with Glam Light on October 15th for the Betty Boop palette and they processed it. I received it. It was great. It was my first experience with the brand. However, I did not like the fact that they don't have insurance to purchase for their packages. And um, so it's always kind of made me a bit wary to purchase from them. So let me rewind just a little bit. Um, I have never been much of an online shopper to begin with. I do not have a bank account. I did not even have a credit card before my job issued me my paycheck on a debit card. And um, I basically have always paid with cash. And that's just me as a human, this when everything started moving to online purchasing and that kind of stuff, I've just always been extremely weary of it because there are so many like scammers out there. Just recently, I was on a page that looked exactly like Sarah V and I ordered through them. I was looking for a coupon deal or like a coupon code and, um, I didn't check when the about description of the page in Google, like where there's in the box of when the, um, the URL pops up that, uh, takes you to that website that's associated with whatever website you're on. I did not check that URL because if you, if you click on that little, I think it's either lines or a star box or whatever it is that you have for your settings. Some, depending on what browser you're in, it can be different. Cause like if you're in Firefox, it can have a different one. Like it's some of those will pop up as verified. Um, but in Google on my Android specifically, when I go into uh, Chrome, it has, I think it's like the little lines right next to it with like the little circles right next to that URL and you click on that and it will give you a couple of options like the last time you visited it, the name of it, um, and then in the about section, if you click on about, it will tell you if it appears to even be a real website or if it has been verified as a real website. And I didn't check that to begin with, with Glamlight. Okay, I will just throw that little bit of information in here right now. So uh, this video here is for your guys' safety in purchasing online. That's why I'm making this video right now. And I am super pissed at Glamlight right now. I want you to know that. In fact, I have removed all content from my account, from my channel. I've hid all of the content. I've made it all private. And unless Glamlight fixes what they have done, I will never be speaking of Glamlight on my channel again, except in a negative way. And unless they clear up what they've done, I um, am making this video very specifically because I have already filed a complaint with the Better Business Bureau against Glamlight because they are not returning. They're not getting back to me. And that's not the customer service that any of us deserve. We all deserve that if we are giving somebody money up front when we have not even, we're not even guaranteed when we're not going into like a store and receiving our goods immediately for our money. That's us putting a lot of trust into a company for them to make good on their word from taking your money that they are going to deliver. Right. And it's illegal. I want you to know that when you make a purchase with a company, you and that company are contracted you have given them money and they are contracted to make good on that money that you have given them for the, uh, for the uh, consumer goods that you have purchased. And that is the contract that they have with you for taking that money from your account. Now, Glamlight is contracted with the United States Postal Service to deliver our, packet, our packages, okay? Glamlight can never ever, ever, ever tell you to go find your package yourself or to go pick it up from a residence 
how dangerous that could be to tell you to go pick up your package because they misdelivered it to the wrong place, whether it was the post office fault because they put it at the wrong apartment number, or you don't know what kind of a home you're walking up to. And you're supposed to walk up to these people and say, Hey, did you get my package? It said it was delivered here. Can I have it? And you think if you open the door to the wrong person, like you walk up to that wrong place and like accuse somebody of something like that, you could be hurt first of all. So for them to ever tell somebody that I am so angry, they are contracted with USPS. US, it is USPS's job. That is why the tracking number is given with Glamlight, you or whatever other business you are and the post office. That's why all three of you get the info, but it's their job to make good on that shipping. And it is USPS's job to deliver it. It is never your job to go find your package. I want you to know that right now. I can't believe the reviews that I read. And I have my mom's phone right here because I'm going to read some of these reviews for you. They're not good. I want you to know right now that the they are not verified as a consumer to work for work with. They are not Better Business Bureau verified. And I want you to know right now, out of a five-star rating, they have a rating of one star with the Better Business Bureau. They have over 40 complaints in the last three years that have been settled and um, accepted as, you know, case closed. Five this year alone. And that does not count any that were not settled. That's not a very good track record to me, especially considering they are all saying pretty much the exact same thing. And I believe that it's also incredibly already dangerous to be storing your credit card in your phone. Uh, if you lose, if your phone is stolen or lost or hacked, you're going to have those numbers stored in there and you're, you could have all of that, all those accounts, all those PayPal's and, um, chime and cash and all those and shop that you store your credit card number in, you can be literally screwed. Okay. And so just be careful, make sure that you're actually like, check that about box because I just want you guys all to be safe. And I want you all like whatever money it is, whether you have extra money and it's not a big deal to you. The fact is, is it's your money and you're expecting something to be made good on and to get in return for your money. And you deserve that. And I just want you guys to be aware because I couldn't find, no, I didn't look and type in exactly bad, anything into YouTube. Okay. I didn't look for YouTube influencer feedback or anything like that. But the thing that I find very interesting is that I have never heard an influencer mention anything about shipping from Glamlight other than, oh yeah, I got my package and it was great. Well, that doesn't seem to be a lot of other people's. And because Glamlight has not, has decided not to even respond to me yet. Do you know that, okay, Ensley Rain, we ha I had a package where um, they had accidentally, uh, and it, this was not the fault of Ensley Rain, and this was the fault of the post office. When they were uh, separating packages, they had, mine had gotten sent to Texas, but they knew where it was. Like, thank God it wasn't lost because it was like a $250 package. And, um, oh, if the order was that big from Glamlight, I'd be so pissed right now. It's my Christmas present though, from my mom. That's what my mom bought this one for me. And it's my Christmas present. And I was just getting it early because I said, yeah, this is what I want. And she was buying me my present a month early so that, um, she had, it was just easier for her to buy things for other people next month in the month, you know? So she just got me that. And I was like, it's, you know, it was really, it was, it was like under $50. It was just barely over 45. And I was like, oh, that might be a good idea, you know? And so I was going to go that route. And now I am so mad. And the funny thing is, is that there has always been, like, I only own one other palette from Glamlight because every time I go to their site, it's always just an IP. There's never any real uniqueness and individuality and it's all just these collabs and there's just something that on glance of it it just comes off as cheap to me and so I guess that's why I just never really bought anything from them but I keep hearing all this amazing feedback and all this stuff and I heard that the Betty Boop palette was like their really good formula and I kept hearing people saying that it was good it was good I never heard anything bad I never heard anybody say anything bad about the way that they didn't talk they didn't respond to you that they that you're not getting your packages I haven't found any of that on YouTube period but then again like I said I didn't check there for it um 
but it's just never even popped up when um, I've typed in Glam Light and I'm just so surprised because, oh, when Ends of the Rain, when, they, when that package went to Texas, even after, three, even three days after my package was delivered, and Ensley Rain knew it was delivered. They obviously were just following up and making sure that I got the package. And so they followed up three days later just to say, we see that your package has been delivered. Did you receive it? That's exceptional customer service. They immediately responded to me within 24 hours before 24 hours. And I'm not mad because they haven't responded for 24 hours. I'm mad because they haven't responded in a week. Okay. Because they processed my package in less than 24 hours. They posted, they issued it a tracking number and they never delivered it to USPS. Me, USPS and Glamlight all have the tracking number. USPS does not have the package. I do not have the package. They Why would they even process it in 24 hours if they weren't going to friggin' send it? And maybe you're saying, well, maybe you should give it some time. Well, why are, why are they, why would, why would they just not send it? They get these places are processing these orders and they the mailman shows up daily generally or at least twice a week so they've had in the and they've had since monday so they had the entire 6 days that it's just sat there to even get it to the post office since they filled it they processed it in like 24 hours right under 24 hours it was processed the next day after we bought it it was i had gotten the thing and said and I was like great and I've been waiting all week long. And I'm like, okay, uh, USPS is still waiting for it. And I'll check, you know, like the next day goes by. USPS is still waiting for it. USPS is still waiting for it. I'm like, what the hell? So I email them. And have they emailed me back? Nope. No, they have not. So what I did is I went in to go and start to look up some reviews on Glamlight. I was so mad. I was shaking. I will never again... Like, I don't know why, you know why? Because I was getting such amazing service from Bella Beauty Bar, from uh, Sephora, from Inslee Rain. I'm trying to look over here to see what other palettes. Uh, oh, Adept, amazing, unearthly, amazing companies with amazing shipping and customer service. Every single one of those companies that I have, and I have needed to contact, I think every single one of them for one issue or another, they have all returned a message from me within 48 hours, whether it was even about a package or not. Kristen from Bella Beauty Bar responded within two days just to let me know that Secret Garden would be back in two weeks. And that was over a week ago, by the way, in case you want Secret Garden. It's going to be back on the website in about a week or 10 days, probably, um, because she told me two weeks. And if you're interested, um, Basic Witch and um, Dead Roses. I didn't ask about any of the others. I only specifically asked about those three. Um, and those basic witch and um, what was the other one I just said? Uh, I'm so upset. I can't even think. But those two are going to be, um, be back. Dead Roses. going to be back closer to the end of the year. So, um, but she didn't have to like email me back right away. Um, and the thing is, is that I'm an influencer. I have a site, a channel. I am a customer. The fact that I'm just a customer. But, and so the first two emails that I sent to Glamlight, and I said, what's going on with the tracking? What's going on with the tracking? And then I finally said, listen, if you're not going to talk to me, if you're not going to respond to me, I will definitely take this as far as I need to, to collect my product or my money back. You need to respond to me and do not tell me after reading your reviews to go find my package myself because we are contracted. And I used the words, you and I have a contract. You and the post office have a contract and you need to make good on this. So I w after reading the reviews, everybody was saying the same thing. They make a tracking number. They don't send it. They're not putting the right amount of items in the package. Like I ordered two PR boxes. I never got it. Okay. Customer complaints, 40 customer complaints. Now I am reading from the Better Business Bureau. I am reading complaints from the 40 and the five that were this year and the 40 from the last three years. Uh, initial complaint, uh, okay, so 
Complaint type delivery issues uh, status answered. Initial complaint 12-18-2023. I made an order via their TikTok shop. My order uh, went through. Then they canceled it. They claimed that the item was out of stock. When I contacted their customer support, they said they had incorrect inventory. That's not right to me or other consumers. The business's response, please accept our deepest apologies for the inventory uh, error. We sent you an email as soon as we noticed the error and provided you with a full refund of your lip kits immediately. As with any business errors that are out of our control can occur, uh, no, maybe you should have somebody that knows how to do math, keeping control of your inventory. Uh, the particular product you purchased had just gone viral and we were receiving thousands of orders in a very short period of time, which caused the system to oversell by several units. Well, that's not their fault. We noticed your desired resolution is to receive these lip kits, but unfortunately we are completely out of stock and these items are now discontinued. Your refund was processed over two weeks ago and the funds are in your account. Um, and it's still saying that this is answered, uh, status is answered. Okay, now this one... Now it says and that they answered, it's not resolved. Okay, so that's still open after a year. But I guess, you know, they got their money back, but they these people, maybe they just didn't respond, you know, for like a resolution. Maybe they're just like, oh, okay, boom, and they didn't respond. Uh, purchase ghost face collection PR box times two on 91523. Didn't receive until 102823. Um uh, and then the agreement date is blacked out. On top of that, an incomplete order missing ghost face PR box. Times one equaling 138 US dollars reached out to customer service support and haven't gotten a solution after emailing numerous times and sending supporting details at it is now 11 to 23. So t a month and a half later, and then it took another three weeks for them to respond. And on 11 21, so this is uh, two months and one week. So this is nine weeks later, they finally respond to this person. We apologize. Okay, so now they've only gotten one PR package. They're out $138 and it's been two months and one week until they hear anything from the company. We apologize for the delay and the missing PR box order. Recognizing our mistake, we have issued a full refund for the missing PR box valued at 138 US dollars. Okay, they found their mistake. We are reviewing our warehouse operations to understand how this oversight occurred and to prevent similar issues in the future. Improving our quality control and packaging processes is a priority to us. Your feedback is invaluable in helping us enhance our service. We are committed to excellence and are taking this opportunity to learn and improve. Thank you for your patience and for bringing this matter to our attention. Okay. So now they're learning from their mistake at the warehouse. I'm wondering if someone at the warehouse is stealing packages after the tracking numbers are made and then they're not getting delivered to the post office. Like, oh, I'll take this one and this one and this one. Is that what's going on? Is that what's going on, Glamlight, in the warehouse? Because this video is going up on my YouTube and I can send you guys a copy of it. I can tag you in this video if you want. And oh, by the way, I emailed Glamlight. I told them that I did go to the Better Business Bureau, that I did file a complaint, that they're not going to get away with ignoring me, and that the customer service that I deserve is my product or my money back and not crickets for my money. And that, uh, so now they're also Better Business Bureau is going to contact them numerous times until they contact me. Now that you do not have to respond as a business, you do not have to respond to the Better Business Bureau. Bureau. They are a nonprofit organization. The thing is, is that the Better Business Bureau is there for consumers and uh, it is a site for consumers. It is not for the businesses. It is for consumers so that biz people that are consumers can go in there. They can make a complaint that if they need to. And then this is, they cannot physically do, they cannot physically like uh, prosecute them. Okay. They're not, they're not the government. And uh, they're not judges. They're not. They're not prosecutors. They are a nonprofit organization that gives this information to us as consumers to help protect us. So that's who the BB is. Now, um, the Better Business Bureau will give you a rating by either the complaints or by how bad you do or how good you do. And remember, that is a five point scale, and Glamlight has a one out of five on there. And they are not verified. And you are either a verified Better Business Bureau. Uh, business or you are not and they are not verified by them but our business bureau will not verify them as somebody that they will support in saying yes you can go and buy from them and you it'll, it'll be okay they are saying whoa 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 nope not verified we're not going to say that we do not verify them okay so uh let's see i was 11 or two didn't receive it okay that's the one i read I have reviewed the response made by the um, business in reference to complaint ID and find that this resolution is satisfactory to me. So she got her money back and so she was satisfied, even though it was a nine weeks later. Um, delivery issues unanswered. So also she didn't get the second PR kit. They had to just uh, give her her money back. So she didn't even get her second PR kit, right? Is that what I said? 
they gave her her money back. Issued a full refund. So she didn't even get to get the second PR box now that she wanted, even though she gave him the money and had to be out that, out that $138 for nine weeks. And you had no idea if you, what was even going to happen that entire nine weeks. That's bullshit. I have rev Okay. I purchased the ghost face collection. This is nine twenty nine twenty three. I purchased the ghost face collection within three minutes of the order. I realized it had my old address. I moved out of the state at the end of August. I immediately changed the address, but it was too late. I contacted Glenlight via email at least four times since they will not respond. I also went to their, I'm sure it's saying Instagram page and no response. They are knowingly sending products to the wrong address. They did not respond or answer to her complaint. And that was on 10 23 They just left her unanswered. Who knows what ended up happening with hers. Uh, on 8-15, 2023, I ordered from Glamlight Cosmetics early in July. And when they shipped it, the tracking said out our house was vacant and wouldn't ship here. So I've been trying to contact on uh, the phone in Glamlight through email because they don't have a number. And every time they call, they say that they couldn't do anything and Glamlight hasn't responded to my five or six emails. So she didn't get her package. She paid for it. USPS won't deliver it because it says that it's a vacant address and they won't respond to get her her package or her money back. It went unanswered. Uh, another unanswered, 8-1-2023. The only thing I would really want is for them to just resend the collection I paid for. Is It is... If that is absolutely not feasible, then a refund. I ordered a limited edition Scooby-Doo collection that's supposed to come with a bag and instead it was resent back to the sender. It wouldn't be an issue if they just resent the package to me. Stated the reason it did not deliver was because of a duplicate label being used, which would not be the customer's fault. Even stated it wasn't my fault and that all I had to do was confirm my address. The address I gave them and was on the label they used to ship since they provided a picture label. It's exactly the same on my profile file that I use for informed delivery and the same one I use and get all of my package sent to. Me too. Uh, the address in the screen screenshots, like I said, an order number is given, want the collection shipped as this is something I paid for uh, April 30th, the pre-sale. Okay, this is August 1st and she purchased this on April 30th during the pre-sale. March, April, May, June, July, August, four months later and she went unanswered and we're not even done. Like I said, I just want the collection shipped as this is something I paid for May 22nd for them to ship dates, types of things. Me first request sent 52723. Next email I sent due to forgetting the order number 529. Uh, sent second request 622023, uh, 614 Just confirm address and we'll send to you or not my fault. Uh, yeah, and then some more, more, two more times she emailed them. She has emailed them 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13 times she went unanswered how much was hers doesn't say but she did she buy the whole collection ordered a limited edition scooby-doo collection she ordered the whole collection did not receive it and completely went unanswered after 12 after 14 emails uh okay product issues on 6 30 2023 i've attempted to reach out to this company several times about this issue and it's been months and months with no update or goods received by me i also contacted da da da, da and they told me that any reimbursement reimbursement would go to this company and not me because the company is their customer so i suspect that they may have gotten reimbursed and didn't refund my order i contacted afterpay a couple of months ago and the case was only recently opened finally and still haven't gotten any help or a refund the order number is da 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 da, da. that could be uh, a problem with afterpay uh service or repair issues unanswered okay oh and that last one went unanswered uh 6 20 this is 10 days prior i uh, ordered this last year for my fiance last year and nothing ever came after contacting customer support no resolution was made no direct answer was given just told me to i received my package and this is over a year ago and went unanswered on here after getting the business bureau Better business bro to try to get to contact them i will freaking go to california they have an address i placed in or i live in oregon so i can go down there um 519 2023 i placed an order on the glam light website on i will go sit outside the i will go down there and i will sit outside the factory until someone shows up outside the warehouse if i have to because they're not like if if and that is i know that may seem extreme but if a place isn't gonna respond to you Oh, maybe I, I don't know. 
And then, uh, so how are, okay, so I placed an order, uh, now this is 519, this is what, one day sooner, no, this is a, a month and a couple days earlier. I placed an order on the Glamlight website on February 14th, okay, so this is uh, two and a half months later, and he sent me a tracking number on March 3rd. Mm-hmm, that's what happened to me. However, the tracking number was not shipped yet. Hmm, exactly what I'm going through. Glamlight only gave me the tracking number and delayed the shipment. It has been two months now, and I have uh, received a message that they have already made a new replenishment, but they will not ship it to me. When can they ship it to me? On May 19th, account... Nope, and she went unanswered. All right, now uh, 516, three days prior to that. My order number, my order has been canceled, but I have not received a refund yet, and Glamlight's customer service has not responded to this matter in the past three months, and their attitude is very arrogant. Uh, same day, unanswered also. I ordered nine items and received eight order number, da da da. The missing item is the Glam Light Fat 2, Glam Light Golden Dreams 2 were ordered. One was received. I emailed customer service immediately upon opening the package. I have sent two emails, no response. There is no phone number. I went through their FAQs. They do not accept liability for lost, stolen, or damaged packages. That's not good customer service. I will like to receive the missing item. BS. That's a lie. That's against the law. That's what I was saying about the contract. They're contracted to make good on your package, and they're contracted with USPS. They can't tell you to go find your package. Now, I also emailed them back. I told them. I went to the Better Business Bureau website. I also read about all of your reviews, about a lot of the same issues with my package. I told them that I've already made the complaint with Better Business Bureau, that I expect a response, and that I will be that this and I told them exactly what happened. Oh, and then I told them that I am an influencer and I have removed all of my content supporting Glamlight or showcasing anything Glamlight on my website, and that I am in the process of making a new video telling them about uh, telling everybody about how bad their service is. Next page. Product issues unanswered 5-8-2023 less than a week earlier. On February 20th this year, I placed a transaction of 183.60 on Glamlight's website, the eyeshadow plate and uh, powder blusher. And I'm sorry if these people uh, spell things wrong. I'm just reading what I see, uh, how they typed, uh, were pre-ordered and said that they would be delivered in uh, more than 45 days. But when I logged on this website this month, I found that he canceled my order on March 1st without any notice, neither delivery nor refund. I sent two emails on May 5th to Glamlight official to inquire when a refund can be made. The Glamlight official customer service did not send me any information. I earnestly request that you can help me recover my refund uh, amount and went unanswered. They never uh, went back to them. My order is da-da-da, da-da-da. My order was canceled on February 17th, but so far I have not received a refund. I've con uh, contacted customer service in email multiple times, but have not received any response. I hope the website can refund and apologize to them for their arrogant service attitude. Arrogant, again. 428-2023, five days earlier. I ordered pre-order items uh, on February 28th. After the 40-day processing fee time, uh, I emailed them asking for an update as I never even received an email confirmation on my order. I just want to stop real quick. Even if, okay, so, so that protection that you buy just means that if you buy something and it's broken, they're going to replace it. Buying that protection that they don't have doesn't mean that they can't make good and deliver the package that they owe you. That has nothing to do with route protection. Route protection is to secure that if your package is damaged, that they will replace it. They don't have it because they don't want to replace it because it will cost them money. So that's why they don't offer us route protection, okay? Because they're too cheap to want to, uh, they're just going to leave us unanswered and leave us with broken products. So that's what route protection is. It's not uh, that. So just because they don't have route protection doesn't mean they can't make good on supplying you with the delivery of the goods that you ordered. Sorry. Um, they responded saying to wait longer since it's a pre-order. I emailed again later for another update as uh, it was well past the 40 day time. They had responded saying there was a mass production error and needed time to fix the problem. They ordered a refund or to say, uh, to stay in queue and that it should be fixed shortly. I stayed in the queue as I really wanted the palette. I emailed them a few weeks after this asking if there were any updates on the air and when it what should would be fixed. It was around this time that I saw the vice president of Glamlight Cosmetics post a TikTok saying the errors were all fixed and they were working on shipping out orders. Great. So I emailed them again asking for another ETA of my package. Still no response. I saw more social media posts and comments. These people who ordered in March have received their package and I was still waiting for my package and an email back. After multiple emails, I decided to email them on a different email they haven't gotten an email from before and they immediately responded to that email but still no response to my multiple emails 
Ooh, that is so shady. Ooh, I got three. Um, but still no response to my multiple emails. I would really like just to know that my package will be shipped soon and a response from the company. I think we've got about six emails that I can email from from here and I can create new ones if I need to to get a hold of them. So not going to get away with that one with me. Um, as promised, here's their response. Ooh, they finally, after everything I've read, this is only the second time they've responded to the person. As promised to the customer, their order was successfully delivered as a thank you for their patience and support during our delay. We included complimentary gifts. Here's the tracking confirmation. Your item was delivered in or at the mailbox at 11.55. I have reviewed the response made by the business in reference to the complaint, and I find that this resolution is satisfactory to me. First satisfied person after all of these resolutions, or I mean, after all of these uh, complaints, one resolution that was satisfactory. Service or repair issues. Unanswered. 3-6-2023. I bought the package February 14th and it's been paid for and I should have received it by now. Others online are claiming they never got their package either. You can't get a hold of anyone for a refund. I'm so mad. Ugh, I can't believe I gave business to a company like this. They're done. Cut. Place an order. I, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I, I can't even read anymore. I'm so pissed. It's just making me more angry that they have the audacity to treat, to treat multiple and multiple and multiple people like that. And they don't care what kind of a review they get. If a business is treating you like this, you don't deserve it and you shouldn't give them their money. And I think at this point, if they don't get that package in the mail and they ha they respond to me, I'm going to say, no, nah, you just give me that freaking refund because you don't deserve my money and you're never getting it again. Companies can't do that to you. They can't treat you that way. So if they are, learn the law, learn how to like where you can go and what things you can do to fix it. And if you need any help, uh, post a question. Uh, if you need any help, like finding any of these things here, I could definitely let you know where I went. Better Business Bureau, it's very easy. And specifically, I typed in um, Glamlight Profile Better Business Bureau, and it takes you right to their profile on, on a on here and i just want you guys to know here oh here, let me turn the, the light down on this so that it maybe it won't be blinding you guys Let's see if that helps it's because that light's on over there um so um this just goes on and on for four pages you guys okay i have to keep advancing for four pages oh here here here's a, here's a couple of the things where they have actually here we'll we'll go through these couple of responses that they gave because they actually gave a couple um placed an order for makeup on 11 27 22 shipping information on 12 6 saying the merchandise was on the way it's now 12 19 oh my problem and the shipping confirmation still says label created but merchandise hasn't been received by my uh usps i have emailed them several times for the updates and was told on 12 14 that all orders would be shipped in 48 hours my shipping confirmation still says label created and merchandise has not been received at da -da 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 -da. the company hasn't responded to any follow-up emails and their refund policy says they won't cancel an order once a shipping label is created but it's been over 10 days and the company hasn't moved on my orders i want my merchandise or a refund at this point never did they disclose the merchandise would take almost a month and their policy is they don't give refunds some the label has been created and i don't understand why that's a bunch of well because it's supposed to be out uh, for delivery at that point that's why but the thing is is that they haven't sent the package they're that that's that's illegal they can't do that hi there they have to at least make, like you have to receive your good like if you don't receive your good then there's a problem still this was their response hi there da -da -da. records indicate the order has been successfully delivered to the address provided on file due to the extreme high volume of uh, orders during our black friday sale we had a longer processing time than usual that's understandable we apologize to the customer provided gift card and kept constant communication through the process on december 20th we provided an update informing her that the order was arriving today well See, and this is, I don't like this, okay? If you're going to go in and you're going to file a complaint, like if you're the one like making a complaint, you need to go and you need to follow up and say that this is resolved or not. You can't sit there and leave. Um, uh, okay, so there's different statuses, okay? So statuses is like um, like file the complaint. Um, there or For status, status is you, you get either it's um, answered if they answer it, it's been resolved if they find it satisfactory. And then um, you file, a, it's just a complaint. 
here unanswered unanswered no it's just unanswered answered or resolved that's what it is okay so it either get, goes unanswered it gets answered or it gets resolved. The final step is the resolution. So if they're getting their package and then not coming back on here and filling out the resolution part, that's wrong on their part. They shouldn't be doing that. So I do have to take with a grain of salt some of this, especially on the ones where they're saying, hey, it's been delivered on Black Friday. I completely understand that. So I'm not going to give them any crap for that. Um, you should be very aware that, of course, on Black Friday, your shipping is going to take longer. And you should also know just in that time of year that your package is going to take longer. I am not going to fault a company for processing during a high volume season or sale like that. The thing is, is that I ordered the morning immediately within it being added onto the thing and the order was processed within the 24 hours. So what the hell are they doing not shipping it? That's my issue. Uh, it's not even the amount of time that's gone by. It's the amount of time that's gone by from processing to shipping after creating the label. That's my issue. But that right there is enough to get me pissed at you and complain. If you're not doing your job right, you can't do that to people. And you certainly don't just leave them unanswered. Um, records indicate the order has been successfully delivered. What was this one? Is that the one? Yeah, that was the Black Friday one. Okay, here's one on 1213. I don't feel like it's fair to read any during Black Friday. Yeah, that's another Black Friday one. I'm not reading that. Mm, 12 9, that's another Black Friday one. Come on, guys, give them a break during Black Friday. Unless, I mean, I'm not reading them, so I guess. But they're answering all of these. I bet you anything, these people. Oh, the order was successfully delivered to the recipient's porch. Okay, hold on. What did this person say? Items had been delivered to my home. My housekeepers were there, and I had them go look and no products. I said, oh, okay. I ordered products from them. This is uh, on 9-20, 2022. Uh, on July 5th, 2022, I ordered products from them. On August 1st, I got a notification that the items had been delivered to my home. My housekeepers were there, and I had them go and look and no products. Uh, did your housekeeper steal it? My son got home. I mean, you just have to consider every possible issue that could happen. I mean, my son got home around 9 p.m. and he said no packages were at my home. I was at the hospital with my daughter while she was having my grandson. A few days went by and I went to the post office to see if the package was there. No package. I asked them what to do and they said to contact the sender and have them file a complaint. I have since uh, sent them three emails and not have gotten back a response from them. The first email was sent August 9th. It's been over a month since I've emailed them and I can't get anybody to help resolve the situation today. I had my bank file a dispute on the charges. It's ridiculous that I can't get what I paid for. Oh, and I was going to tell you guys, that's the other thing that you need to do. If a company is not making goods and delivering the goods, you file a complaint with the bank and the bank will have you sign an affidavit and they will give you your money back. They'll take it back from their account. And I'm glad it was on my mom's card for that one because we, she has a bank account. So I guess that's one positive to a bank account. <sighs> Let's see here. Um, so they say, okay. Um, so yeah, I'm wondering if your housekeepers stole it. Like, are you nice to your housekeepers? Do you tip them well? Hope so. Um... The consumer indicated he, she did not accept the response from the business. Yes, it says it was delivered. It was not delivered to my address. I went to the USPS and spoke directly to the carrier. Not find my package. I filed a claim. I don't know. Oh, oh, so their response was USPS records indicate the order was successfully delivered at the recipient's uh, front porch. Well, I would ask your specific mail carrier if they remembered the package being delivered when it was supposed to be. And you've probably waited way too long now for them to be able to remember a thing like that. They get so many packages. You know, my uh, they like I looked up how many packages the USPS processes just in one day, just at my Portland one, and how many? It's like three million just an hour. Uh, do you know how many it is? Even just a second, they process like over a thousand packages every second. It's crazy how many packages go through there. <sighs> oh, it just makes me never want to order anything offline again. This is why I didn't for so long, but I was getting such good service. Um, uh, the most effective way is to, I think it's good to the, do the Better Business Bureau because it lets consumers know this helps us consumers, but the way to handle it is, um, through the bank. But if you're buying it on like a gift card or something, you're not going to be able to do that. So I would encourage you to do it on either credit card that you, a company that you, uh, feel works well with you that will, uh, also do the same thing that the bank will do because um, the credit card companies can do that too as far as I know I believe they can 
um, because they've taken the money from the bank and they didn't make good on that. And if you're complaining and say, hey, I didn't get my goods, they they took the money and didn't get my goods. And then you have to sign an affidavit that is saying, which is pretty much like perjury in court if you're lying, that um, you are saying that this is the truth, that you didn't get the package. And if any anybody is like getting their package and not saying they would, like that's, I can't imagine if somebody would do that. Like, why would you say, oh, I didn't get it and keep it. That's stupid. Oh, God, my heart. Oh, my heart is so sad. And how many people didn't even do one of these or knew to go here? I think I've made my point. Have I made my point? But you guys do this for me. If you have ordered from Glamlight, I don't care what kind of service you got. Will you please tell me what your service from them was? How was... Um, the shipping and the processing were all the items in your package did was there anything broken um did you have to contact the company and if you did what way did you contact the company and what was their response and was there a, a resolution if there was an issue but if you had a good experience with them i would love to hear that too i'm not trying to bash glamlight if if they're working on it or trying but it looks like they're not making any progress from uh and in fact it looks like they used to answer more to the Better Business Bureau uh, a year ago than they do in the last year. So it looks like they leave a lot more people unanswered now these days. And I just don't think it's fair for any company to take your money and make, not make good on their products uh, and, and, and the, the contract. And by accepting that form of payment is their signature on the contract. Okay? That's their signature. Them accepting your payment is their signature on the contract. I really hope that this helps any of you with any purchases that you're trying to make online. And I do recommend that you check the Better Business Bureau, check reviews, and also filter your reviews, people. When you go to like Sephora, first thing I do is I mark it from most helpful to most relevant. Most helpful is their way of showing you reviews that they like. I use most helpful. And then I cycle out non-incentivized and then I go as far the strictest, which is verified purchases only. However, sometimes when you do that, you will not get actual, uh, you'll sometimes will get a zero hit back. And um, that's because if, the, and even mine, I have noticed that I have plenty of reviews on Sephora that were from inside my, the app on my profile that I wrote through my profile and none of them say verified buyer or verified purchase, and I purchased them at Sephora or online. Uh, most of those were online purchases, actually. And when I did the review attached to the item that I purchased, it did not put them in as verified purchases. So I'm not sure why. Um, just I would check the BBB, check reviews, check online reviews, get, get other people's feedback, but just be safe and don't ever give out your number to people. I did that in that Sarah V., that I was talking about earlier was a fake web page. I got a really bad feeling uh, because they were like all on sale. And I was like, this is really weird. So we placed an order with my mom's credit card. This was, this was Christmas last year. This was my Christmas present last year. And I got this really bad feeling because when I kept trying to put the card number in, it wouldn't accept it. It would not accept it. So you know what those people had done? They had set up a web page so that it would, when you would fill out your credit card information, they had a thing that it would reflect back so that they would get the credit card number and security codes. And then they were taking that card. They tried to make purchases on the card, but I had immediately looked up Sarah V and I found a contact number for them and I immediately called them. And when I called them, I said, yeah, I just went to purchase something on your website. And they said, we don't have a website. They said, well, we have a website, but we don't have an online order for website. We only have a product information website. And I said, you what? I said, well, I just gave somebody money that said that they were you. And they said, well, we don't have one. I'm really sorry. And I said, thank you so much. So I immediately went to, and we tried two cards. We used her Chase card and her bank card because it wasn't going through. They tried to make purchases, like $700 phone payment charges and all this stuff. Well, we'd already flagged it with the bank and they never let the purchases go through. And they immediately looked like idiots trying to use the cards because they were flagged as, um, you know, stolen. So <clears throat> they didn't get any of our money. But what if I hadn't known that? What if that feeling hadn't happened and I hadn't and I had just let it go? 
because it was my mom's card and well, it wouldn't have affected me. Well, it did, it would have, it would, it would have affected my mother and I cared very deeply about that. And so, and in fact, I cared more, I think. Um, so I immediately checked and it wasn't even a real website. That's what I'm saying. Check that about in the URL bar. Like I said, you guys have a good one and just be safe. Keep your credit card, keep your personal information safe. I don't want to see anybody get ripped off or, uh, you know, buy things they don't need or duplicates of things they don't need. You know, I really am here for your best interest and I hope that you guys can see that. Have a good day.